Hey, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, so we are starting today on topic seven. Topic seven is going to be focused completely on decimals. The first part is going to feel very much like review, and that is good, um, even based a little bit on review that we did in previous weeks. So just a reminder, when we get to um, decimals, we run into the decimal point itself, which is a line that divides our place values. So in this case, five is in the ones place, four is in the tens place, three is in the hundreds place. Okay, and I want you to write this into your notebook as well. thousands place and ten thousands place. We could keep going and going. But what I want you to really notice is when we get here, now we're talking about pieces. We're talking about fractional values. So six is in the tenths place. And when you hear me say it, I'm going to overemphasize the TH, okay? Seven is in the hundredths place. Now, notice that difference between hundredths and hundreds. Not the same thing. And again, we could keep going. Thousandths place. And we could keep going and going, okay? The reason that place value is so important when we get into decimals is it's very important with how we line things up for addition and subtraction. So I just wanted to do two quick examples with you today because I feel like um, most of this is review. But let's say that I had 123.0 minus 47. Point one, and I'm going to subtract those. Okay. Now, different people do borrowing and regrouping differently. You're going to see me do it. What I refer to is very old school, and that is fine. Okay. Now, if borrowing is something that you're struggling with, we need to remember that every time we quote unquote borrow or regroup, we're taking a value of 10 from the left before it and moving it over. Okay. So this wasn't 10. I took one of these and that made this 10 tenths, which allowed me to subtract. So 123 minus $47.10 maybe. Oh, that would make sense. 75.9 or 75 and 9 tenths. Well, what about what I'm adding? $12.95. cents. 1.075. Now I want you to notice something in both of these situations. The decimal point is in a straight line. Even when my numbers aren't, my decimal point is. Okay? In a straight line. If you get crooked, I will call it, it can really affect your values. Now, in this case, I have nothing. It's an invisible zero plus five. So that's five. Five plus seven, 12. Zero. Remember that decimal has to stay in line. Okay. 
Now, there is one trick, and I don't like math tricks, but this is a penmanship trick that I want to show you. If you struggle with, we'll say penmanship challenges, okay? One of the things that you can do is turn your paper this way And notice how the columns in just any old piece of binder paper or any old notebook is going to keep your numbers lined up. Feel free to do that anytime. Okay. All right. So what I want you to do is take what I hope is quite a bit of a review, apply this to your try problems, and we will work together in class for some more. Have a great day.